Yeah, courage, your relationship to your gut, I think are essential. And then owning your craft. You know, like I meet tons of poets who don't read poetry. <clears throat> I mean, tons of rappers that only listen to hip hop, and so they sound like tons of rappers. <laughs> you know, you want to sound like an original rapper, try spending a month listening to no hip hop. And, that, and be influenced by everything you listen to. Talk to strangers, ask them what you're listening to. What is that? All right, I'm going to check it out. And then check it out. And be influenced. Find out what's dope about it. You know? But I think that monitoring your diet is essential, you know, essential. Your diet, not only what you eat. Now mind you, what you eat is essential, like, we'll get on that, but, <laughs> well, I mean, for instance, I taught at Stanford this past winter, and they let me create my own course, and so I created a course called Muse, Musings, and Music, and my one course requirement was this, everyone's going vegetarian for the semester. And they're like, what, what the hell? They're like, I'm here because I want you to check on my poetry and my songs, and I was like, oh, you want me to monitor your creative output? It's like, why would I want to dig through your shit if you're not paying attention to what's creating your shit? Like, why should I monitor what comes out of you if you're not monitoring what goes into you? Do you think there's no connection? Do you really think, that, is there no connection between what comes out of you and what goes into you? Do you think there's no difference between, like, what you read is your diet. What you watch, channels, dumb shit, is your diet. What you listen to, is your diet. What you talk about, what you allow to be talked about in circles around you, that's your diet. That's what you're ingesting. That's why your circle of friends and the people you surround yourself with and all that, if you have negative people in your cipher, all of that, that's all a part of your diet. Right? So you're ingesting all of this shit and then trying to come up with something original. You're not surrounded by originality. How do you expect it to come out of you? And the same to be said for what you can just be about. I mean, you should listen about, listen to Ben Franklin talk about why him having to fight other senators and, 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 and scientists and all these people and in, in why he's vegan. Ben, Benjamin Franklin. You should hear what he has to say about it. Like, I feel completely clear and I feel, I, he's like, there's no way I'd be able to think of these things. And the way I'm, the, 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 the lack of gravity in my thought, you know, I'm able to flow freely because I don't have this meat weighing, literally meat, he's not being metaphorical, weighing me down. That's Benjamin Franklin, that's not me. Einstein said the same exact thing, another vegetarian. Rembrandt, another vegetarian. Picasso, another vegetarian. Leonardo da Vinci, another vegetarian. Get the point? <laughs> <laughs> right? I'll swap it. Right? Tolstoy, see what they have to say about it. How can what goes into you not be reflected in what comes out of you. If you can, without thinking about it, just ingest, you know, like, death wrapped in plastic. <laughs> you know, like, well, well, this is good, I'm fuck, this shit is cheap. <laughs> <laughs> That's Rumi where he says, the other is a lie. We're one. There is no other. All these things are interconnected. You know? That thing that allows you to be oblivious and not give a fuck, ah, yeah, it's never going to change. You just said it's never going to change. You just said it's never going to change. You believe it's never going to change. Then don't do bother doing any art. Because the only reason I do art is because I believe that its power is a seed that will blossom. And I know it will change. I personally, I'm going to be real honest with y'all. Extremely honest. I'm not bullshit. I feel like me and all the poets that, are, that have been out here for the past 10 years played a huge role in getting Barack elected. Of course. I feel like we 
played a huge role in writing those speeches. I heard all of those speeches before in poetry readings from 15 year olds, 17 year olds. For years I've been hearing that. And only through time have people slowly built up their appetite to appreciate it when it comes out somebody's mouth. Mm -hmm. Feel hugely responsible. You know, 